Ladies and gentlemen, we're gathered here today to witness and to celebrate the marriage of Emma and David. Of two are caring as they're sharing life's hopes and fears. If the music of laughter outweighs sadness and tears, then marriages take of us. If both derive pleasure from the mere presence of each other, yet when parted, no jealousies restrict warriors further than marriages further. If achievements mean more with the benefit of two, and consideration is shown at each point of view, then marriages respect. And if together this freedom and respect are combined, with joy that words can never fully define, then marriage itself is love. Emma and David met back the 1st of June 2018. Yes, Emma remembered that date. They met at the shed in Shawlands, where David told me he saw Emma and he liked what he was looking at. He noticed that Emma started to talk to someone that he knew, so he swooped over closer. <laughs> Emma started talking to him and they got chatting. They drank and they danced and they parted till they first started singing in the morning. And in the end, David left the Emma's contact meeting. He would chase Emma on Instagram and they eventually agreed to go on a date together. Two weeks later, David picked Emma up and they drove to Air Beach. It was a warm day, so they walked for miles just talking, getting to know each other. They stopped off in a wee bag of chaps. And once they got home, they exchanged their first kiss. In September 2019, they got their first pad together. They moved in and made it homely. And as they got to each other more and more, they dropped their guards. The topic of marriage would pop up now and again. But David kept on shooting that down, saying, he's not getting married. But secretly, knowing that Emma was the one that he would be married one day, he told me he loved her before he even got to know who she was. To wifey, from this day forward you shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter and my arms will be your home. Love you baby, see you on the other side. I love that David loves me when I haven't even loved myself. He knows the rough times I've been through and he's never loved me any less when I've been at my worst. We can genuinely barely laugh together. So much so that he can't breathe and he starts to snort. He's not just been my fiancé or my boyfriend. He has been my best friend. Someone who I can laugh with, cry with and tell everything to. And today, he becomes my husband. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Emma, take you, David. That I, Emma, take you, David. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, respect and cherish. To love, respect and cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Well, Emma and David, you have expressed the love and respect you have for each other and you've signified your intentions for your future together. And you're going to be the greatest and privilege and honour to announce that you're now husband and wife. When you met each other, that she was the one, you would always talk about her, and I could see how much you loved her. So even though you're high maintenance, <laughs> he's a great guy, and he'll do anything for you. He's always done anything for me, and he's done it like a drop of a heart. So you're the best pal and the best husband anyone could have. Um, can we all raise a glass for Mr. And Mrs. Kinnell? I'd like to have a massive round of applause for my beautiful wife. 
like I said, um, we are our case man in the world. I've got a gorgeous wife now, and I just can't believe this actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be in this position, and I'm really lucky to be here. So without further ado, on behalf of my wife and I, <laughs> I just want to thank everyone here again, and thank you all, and just enjoy your night. Can you raise the roof off this place for your newlyweds? I give you Mr. and Mrs. Kinney!